position, have your feet flat on the floor with the weight over the ball of the foot. Have your feet hips width apart with the bar over the lace of your shoes. Grip the bar with both hands using a grip slightly wider than shoulder width. Lower your hips until your shins touch the bar. Your hips should be slightly higher than the knees. Your back should be straight or slightly arched and your shoulders should be in front or advance of the bar. First pull involves moving the bar from the floor to just above the knee. Keep your back tight and try to engage your lats. Pull the bar off the floor, shifting your weight on the back to your heels. Lead with your chest rising and try to maintain the angle of your hips and shoulders. The second pull involves moving the bar from just above the knee to the upper thigh. Extend the hips and knees aggressively by shifting your hips forward. Pull the bar back towards your torso as you do this, keeping it in close contact with your quads. Your torso angle should become more vertical as you do all of this. Fully extend your hips, knees, and ankles, and at the same time, shrug with your shoulders. Flex the arms with the elbows up and out. Your weight should shift onto your toes as if you're jumping and the acceleration of the bar will force your heels off the floor. Pull yourself down, rotating the elbows under the bar as you do so. Receive the bar in front squat position. The bar should be racked on your shoulders with your hands relaxed. Recover by driving through the heels, keep torso upright and elbows up. Continue to do this until you have risen to standing position. Grab the bar with a clean grip. Lower the bar under control to your hang position. Begin the clean with legs first, driving against the floor, and extend hips, keeping the bar close. Pick up and move your feet into the squat stance while pulling elbows high and moving your body down into a squat under the bar. Turn elbows up into clean rack position and sit in the squat, stabilize, and stand. <laughs> 